okay good morning um, I've been uh, putting off this video for quite some time but uh, I think the last video we published on YouTube was back in September probably about a month ago uh, actually so <clears throat> over the past uh, three or four weeks I've been I have been working on this uh, this little engine a uh, little sterling hot air engine so um, anyway uh, we finally got all the parts put together now I don't remember exactly where we were last time so I'm gonna try to make this quick um, <clears throat> last time I think I published a video that said that um, uh, th th uh, we were assembling the unit uh, at least parts of it now I don't remember how much we had completed so um, this may be a little out of sync but um, anyway that said um, over the last few weeks I've uh, I, I think I think I made the flywheel and attached it to the crankshaft I think I made these little parts out here uh, to this little bit of linkage here I think that's about it oh and also I made some um, some fittings to go into the water jacket and I've got a temporary setup out here for the for the uh, water tank so <clears throat> I'm not sure how that's working yet it's just temporary but um, I will be doing something different once I get this whole thing mounted on a permanent base but right now I'm more interested in trying to get it to run now over the last three or four weeks I've had a few difficulties uh, one problem was the displacer itself if you look back at my previous videos you'll see it's an aluminum uh, a tubular spacer very lightweight with two end caps one on the hot end one on the cold end so the end caps were holding um, I use 609 Loctite and evidently uh, it's it's uh, the temperature is too great though the Loctite wasn't holding on the uh, displacer end caps so I had to fix that and that took a little troubleshooting to figure that out um, <clears throat> the other thing was is there's a register in here for the chamber to register to this block and that register is was uh, connected to the this block with 609 Loctite 2 that didn't hold so anyway those three items have been put together with um, either either uh, quick epoxy or or regular 24-hour epoxy I think I did the end cap or the hot end with 24-hour because the temperature um, is can, it can withstand like 500 degrees Fahrenheit the quick epoxy not so much so anyway I, I, I did the, those were those were a couple problems I found another problem I had <clears throat> was these bushings in here there's two bushings one at each end of this tube here and they were a little bit loose so I don't know if that was making a difference but I replaced those bushings in there too and also I think last time I had two pistons that I made so I was experimenting with the looser fitting piston and then I discovered that the the tighter fitting piston actually worked the um, the looser fitting piston was was a problem so I, I changed back to the tighter fitting one where I you know went vice versa to try to figure out which one was working and I also put the oil hole here in the in the tube for the crankshaft so I think that's I think that's where I was at last time so that's a quick update and um, <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do now is this morning um, I finally got it to run I couldn't get the timing set right it was a little bit difficult and um, I have an adjustment here on the displacer push rod and also I have a timing adjustment back here this this uh, arm is is adjustable but I couldn't seem to get it set up right so finally I took the chamber off and uh, I used the micrometer or the vernier to um, to set the displacer up at at each end to get this timing set right anyway that did it uh, I put it back together and it ran I did get it to run once before or a couple times before but it was but I didn't know exactly where I had things set up so I never somehow I it got off again so 
Anyway, I've got it all working now, and so this is going to be a quick demo this morning, and I'm just going to run it for a few minutes, and um, I'll um, I'm going to shut the camera off while I uh, I'm going to put I got an alcohol lamp here, and I'm going to tip it. I have to tip it. This is not really something that's going to be permanent, but right now it's what I have in the shop. So I'm I'm using this alcohol lamp to uh, to heat the chamber up, and um, so with that, um, uh, later on when I get this mounted to a permanent base, then I'll I'll make some kind of a little alcohol burner that fits under the chamber. Um, but right now this is what I'm using. So I just wanted to to make a quick update, um, and I hope I'm not leaving anything out. Um, I kind of went over this. I've had a couple other videos that are unlisted. You can find them in the playlist, but uh, they were mostly made for my friend up in Canada, Walter Macy, who's building the same engine. And um, so there, there are just some communications with him uh, about some of the difficulties I was having and so forth and so on. So basically they they're, uh, have to do with some troubleshooting. I'll leave them in there in case anybody's interested. Um, but they're not they're not published. I won't publish them. Hopefully this little update covers everything up to now uh, from the last uh, video I put put out. So um, I'm going to be doing some more work to this. Um, now that it's running, I've got a piece of uh, graphite bar that I'm going to be making a correct a, a better piston, I think. Uh, this is an aluminum piston in here now, so I think the graphite is supposed to be a better deal. So with that, I don't know what else. I'm I'm going to be putting a better base on it and a better uh, water tank. But I like this setup. This setup seems to be working. This this is just loose, but it's it's closely coupled and um, it's very simple. It actually, just uh, I, I only made a couple parts for it. two nipples, and this is the piece of pipe. And um, and a plug in the bottom that, and the whole thing's just put together with high temperature RTV. Although this doesn't get hot, so the high temperature doesn't matter. It's just what I've had in the shop. And um, I've been looking for something that's. This is something I had in the shop. Actually, this is the piece of tubing that I made the the chamber out of. So that's what this is. And I had this left over, so I had this laying around in the shop, but. I've been looking at stainless steel, copper, brass, different uh, items. They're all kind of expensive. Also, I've been looking at um, uh, Delrun tube, a Delrun tube to make this out of. So whatever, um, I'll be doing that. So we'll have maybe one more video um, as a conclusion. So we'll call this an update. Uh, so I'm going to shut the camera off for a second. And uh, usually it takes about three minutes to get this warmed up. And uh, we'll fire it up and and um, and watch it run for a few minutes and then and then we'll conclude this video. So with that, I'll shut the camera. Okay, I let it warm up for about two three minutes, and um, that's all it takes to get it running. This <laughs> workmate isn't real steady. Um, I don't know how many RPMs we're cranking. Some people seem to. Think that's important. I'm I'm not really uh, uh, experimenting with uh, a high-speed engine here. All I'm trying to do is get it running so I can give it to my 10-year-old uh, grandson. Or maybe maybe it's too early for that because I burned my pinky on it the other day. So I don't want him to burn himself. So maybe he's a little bit too young. We'll see. But you can see it running there. Um, I don't know that it would help to, to give you a different view. I mean, it's just, that's it, you know. So, <clears throat> I don't know if it's it's powerful enough to drive a, drive anything, but uh, these things have pretty low power from what I understand. And I don't know if the, um, the, the thermal siphon system is working either. I have no idea. But um, right now, it's set up and... And I have the water level actually below the top, the top um, uh, nipple there. So I'm kind of, I kind of think that for the thermal si thermal siphon system to work, I think that that it has to be fully enclosed. And both nipples have to be um, uh, 
within in the water or within the tank. But um, anyway, you can see it running. I'm not going to sit here. It'll run all day, I guess. Um, I got a lot of alcohol in this this that lamp here, so I'm sure it'll run for a while. So uh, I've got a fairly low flame on it. Um, not much. And um, I'm not sure exactly where to put the flame, but it's right on the end, right on the end cap. So it's actually <clears throat> this this chamber is only eight thousandths of an inch thick in the in the low areas, but the flame is actually heating the the thicker portion. There's three bands, thicker bands on here. They're probably thicker than they should be, and this actually the chamber is probably thinner than it should be. Um, it was supposed to be eight thousandths of an inch thick, but um, you know, I think maybe it might be a little bit thinner than that. <clears throat> anyway, it, it, it's it's running. I'm I'm quite happy with that because I was getting a little frustrated uh, a month ago. I, I well a few weeks ago. Let me put it that way. But um, I told my friend in Canada I was about ready to put it in the shoebox on a shelf. But uh, I finally, uh, I finally got it going, and and uh, once I figured out what it was, I have little, very little experience, or actually no experience with this. This is the first uh, hot air engine I've ever built, so um, it was, it was going to be kind of an experiment. With that, I'll quit talking, and um, I think it stopped fairly easily. Oh well, well, it's got a little power. That surprises me. So we'll take the we'll, let's take the fire off of it here. That'll stop it quick. Let's see here. Put my little cap on here because it keeps the alcohol from evaporating. It runs without the fire for a while. There you go. That's the end of it. Let's see. The water jacket is not that hot. I can touch it. But this part out here, I'm sure it'll burn me, so I'm not going to touch that. Let me see. This block right here is is fairly cool. Not bad. I don't think the water is doing anything, to be honest with you. But I don't know that for a fact. And this this chamber here is still very cool. There's no, no heat here. So, it is running. Um, I'll end this video at this point. I'll call off and... And once we get this all mounted uh, permanently and the way it's supposed to be, then uh, we'll make one more video. And I'll get the, in the meantime, I'll make the uh, graphite piston for it. So with that, I'll call up and, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.